Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Mirage deck from Daryl and Murphy's Magic. All right, so the Mirage deck. If you don't know what the Mirage deck is, uh, it's an amazing deck of cards that allows you to do tricks very similar to a Svengali deck. Uh, I won't go into what a Svengali deck is, but it's basically a Svengali deck that uses the rough and smooth principle, which would allow you to fan all your cards and your spectator would never see your force card until you did your secret move. Some of the features of this deck is you're able to immediately know any card a spectator picks. That's awesome. Uh, you can have a spectator cut to their own card in a very fair condition. Uh, and you can instantly change the entire deck into the selected card. And of course, when you purchase this, you're not only getting the deck, but you're also getting some instructions written up by Daryl. Now, I keep saying this deck is a rough and smooth deck, but you could be saying, David, I don't even know what rough and smooth is. Teach me, oh genie. All right, so you came to the right place. Rough and Smooth is a principle. It's a principle that's been applied to card magic for a really long time. Uh, what it is, is it's a fluid, roughing fluid, that allows cards to stick together temporarily. Now you can stick them together face to face, back to back, back to face, or face to back. And uh, they stick together just for a slight amount of time, uh, but with a little bit of pressure, you can pop them apart and uh, show two cards from one. Um, this technique was first used by gamblers for a quick location for the Ace of Spades, and it was known in gambler supply houses as Slick Aces. Uh, it was their way of making cards slippery, uh, more so than any other cards in the deck. Uh, a lot of different decks uh, in Magic use this principle. You have the New Idea deck, the Nudist deck, Split deck, the Delirium deck, the Mirage deck, the Invisible deck, and the Colorado deck. And if you'd like to learn more about this principle, there's plenty of stuff to read out there. Aside from just the instructions that you'll get from Daryl, uh, there's the Rough and Smooth principle that came out in Greater Magic magazine in 1938. Uh, there's Rough Stuff by Joe Berg that came out in 1956. There's also Rough and Smooth Possibilities. Now that was written by Tan Hock Chuan and came out in 1948. And of course, there is the classic Roughly Yours by Aldini, which came out in 1969. And of course, any book that has tricks for the Svengali deck would be great for the Mirage deck. I would highly recommend the Encyclopedia of Card Tricks by Gene Huggard. Now, if you don't have a Mirage deck, but you have a Svengali, and you've always kind of wanted to take the Svengali to the next level, then I would say Mirage deck might be the deck for you. If you don't even have a Svengali deck, but you've always wanted one, maybe the Mirage deck would be the alternative. All right, so that is my review for the Mirage deck. If you don't have your own, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.